In 2015, it was Greece's financial crisis keeping customers away from the free-thinking zone, bookstore, and cafe. At the time, pages weren't being turned, coffees weren't being served, and the overall situation looked bleak. Owner Areti Orili worried her small Athens business might not make it. Despite all that, what she called the free-thinking zone survived. Now, though, it's the coronavirus pandemic that threatens to switch the shop's lights off for good. It's been very hard because uh, we, the, the biggest problem right now is the, uh, the, store, the, the lockdown of the stores. And the lockdown uh, will lead us eventually to problems with liquidity. These days, independent booksellers around the world are finding it increasingly difficult to stay in business. Hi everyone, this is Marianne at the bookstore. I want Marianne Reiner owns and operates the Run for Cover bookstore in San Diego, California. Its doors are temporarily shut and its future is uncertain, but customers are still ordering titles. It actually has been really hard for the whole business, uh, book business world to get our hands on books because everyone has had to change overnight the way they do business. Marianne, who fulfilled a lifelong dream by opening her store a year and a half ago, has turned increasingly to social media to keep book buyers engaged, alerting them to works that have come in and orders that have gone out. She's even started digital mother-daughter story time sessions. But she says nothing will ever replace face-to-face -face interactions with fellow book lovers. Having the connections with the readers has really been the greatest gift of my bookstore. And not being able to do this in person uh, right now is obviously very, very hard. My name is Sanam Meher. It's not just booksellers getting more creative in engaging readers in the era of COVID-19. Authors are too, such as Sanam Maher in Pakistan, who, along with a friend, started the Stay Home, Stay Reading series as she worked from her home in Karachi. I wanted to create something that allowed those authors to put their work forward in as public a space as possible, to allow just readers from all over the world to access their work, to just check it out, see if they're interested, to be able to read from their work, and also really to have a moment when they could share it and celebrate it. Writers speaking directly to readers, offering stories as a way to escape, even if just for a few moments, the seemingly constant barrage of bad news. Mohammed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera.